Welcome to Single Tree Nation. I'm your man, Charlie Eblen, the host and owner of Single Tree Woodfire Barbecue. We are here to build community through undeniable hospitality, storytelling, and the perfect plate of barbecue. Welcome back to Single Tree Nation. I'm your man, Charlie Eblen. We got our co host back in the saddle again. What's up, everybody? He took a little bit of time off to uh, get his Manny Petty <laughs> yeah. for. Uh, I was going to say get my affairs in order, but yeah. Graduation and uh, uh, softball announcing PA system. Yeah, like it was, <laughs> dude, it was a full three all weeks. The, all the things. And I also like that you were flexible enough. Like I would text you Wednesday morning, hey, I'm not going to be there tonight. Like, okay, it's all I got. All right, cool. We got it. <laughs> dun, 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 psh, yeah. Rock and roll, rock and roll. So, uh, look, guys, we got uh, a really cool show tonight. We have not one, but two special guests this evening. Uh, we have Mr. Dan Shaw from 615 Local joining us. And then we have Kelly Helton from Splashy's Car Wash here in Murfreesboro, right off of uh, uh, Warrior, Warrior Drive. Drive. I'll get it out in a second, yes. right? Um, it's okay. We won't hold against you. Well, you nobody know, likes to talk about the warrior side of town. Uh, yeah, it's the wrong colors. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, yeah. hey, there's cicadas over there as well. So. Okay, <laughs> man, they're getting they're getting bad too, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tell uh, you. I uh, so uh, I went to Boston a couple weeks ago. Went to Chicago this past weekend, and there's no cicadas. It's well, quiet. If you have daughters, you are immediately aware of all cicadas in the area instantly i don't, I don't have daughters but i have one son that is terrified of them well I, I just i find it hysterical like it's pretty funny watching students in a high school parking lot with cicadas in the region is has a comical element you know just, as well as watching people wash their car and then come around <laughs> these the vacuums <laughs> and they're running across the parking lot dodging cicadas while they get ran over before they vacuum their car i absolutely yeah. love it i'm gonna go I to a different it. car angle i washed my car last weekend and i got real upset because immediately upon leaving car wash hit a cicada on the Ooh. windshield and i was like God, dang it, it. Like it was 45 seconds clean and just anyway you love it yeah i love it it's gonna keep killing well, guys business. look welcome Welcome Thank to you. the show. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Of course. Anytime. You're always welcome. We talk about all kinds of crazy shit. Sometimes it, it, gets, gets, wild. it gets a little wild and crazy. We've if done I some. Start referencing MapQuest. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, <laughs> some... we'll know it's a show. We'll definitely we'll be wild. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> happened before. Don't worry. <laughs> Look, he's had, he's had spiral notebooks with maps in them in here. It's really been I kind haven't of got that deep yet. You know. I remember those so, days. Yeah. I, was driving, yeah. I was driving limo then. Oh, I love it. Flipping through the... I'm yeah. Like, really? Yeah. I love it. That's outstanding. So, look, we like to uh, make sure that we give you guys time to start out with. Tell us who you are, what you do, what your business is, all that kind of fun stuff. And then um, uh, we'll, we'll kind of dive in from there. So, Dan, why don't you tell us who you are and what you do, my friend? Uh, my name's Dan Shaw. I started 615 Local back in 2020 when the world kind of shut down and I wanted to help some friends of mine out. Uh, I had a buddy of mine that owned a coffee shop in Nashville. I went up there and yanked on the door. I'm like, why are they closed? Called him up and he's like, yeah, dude, you can't come inside. Uh, Metro shut us down and uh, we'll bring your coffee out to your car. So I started thinking about this and looking at the world a little bit differently and going, you know, what the hell is going on here? And I just wanted to help out other than just paying and being a customer, I wanted to do more. So I started 615 Local at the time. It was called 615 Life. Changed the name, thought it sounded better, a little bit cooler. I like you it. You know, helping local business owners in the 615 area code. You know, I could have went bigger, but I had to keep it as hyper-local as possible. Yeah. And just putting stuff up on Instagram, letting people know who was open and what they could do, how to make their orders, whatever it was. All of a sudden, I had more and more businesses reaching out to me. I didn't do this for any money. I just did it to help out. I love it. Now, fast That's forward to 2024, and I'm now I'm going for profit um, under the uh, Shalen Media LLC is my entity name, but doing business as 615 Local. I love it. I love it. So you have uh, Instagram, Facebook, soon to be TikTok with no, with no dancing. 
No dancing. I just said me not dancing. I no. didn't say, oh, okay. I got younger people I'll handle that part. So. So, I'm, we'll, we'll just leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Kidding. So, um, so you got the social side. Tell me, tell me a little bit about, um, like what exactly 615 local does. Well, now we are moving into a full digital marketing agency. So we will be able to handle everything from your search and optimization, your website to your digital presence everywhere. So we are going to be bringing that to just the 615 area. Um, I just want to, when I do stuff like this, I want to meet the owner, you know, I mean, I've been helping, you know, owners out and meeting them and getting to know their story, what made them start their business. And now it's time, you know, Hey, we did all this for y'all. Now it's our turn. We want to turn this into a, you know, for profit, Yeah. but we still want to keep that promotional spirit out there. We still want to promote those, even if they can't afford it at the time, because we know times are tough for small business owners. So we're going to still promote people online. We're going to still do all that. But behind the scenes, yeah, we will be having that going on. Nice. And in 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 person prom- promotion as well. You know, we're going to have, if you want a concert in your parking lot, where are the people to come to? Awesome. Well, it sounds like we need to have deeper conversations, Dan. That's right. So I got some stuff brewing. Got some stuff brewing. Well, let's talk, man. Let's I, I like do Dan's it. shirt, though. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of thrown off by DeKalb County being in 615. <laughs> like the cab it actually is. I checked it like three times. I completely trust you. It's just <laughs> growing up locally here, I'm like, the cab ain't 615. No, like, they ain't one of well, us. There's probably like, what, three <laughs> businesses down there. There probably know. is. Right. It's, right. You blink, you miss the whole county. But I was like, the cab's yeah. in that? So I'm sure well, we'll get pushed back on that. Is it the cab or is it the cow? I uh, see that. I just see there's always that person. I've always said the cab. I don't know. It probably is the cow. Well, the reason why I ask is growing up in Indiana, there was a school and there was a county called DeKalb County High School. And so they pronounce it DeKalb. So the and L was so, there. Yeah, oh, wow. I moved south and everyone's going DeKalb. And I'm thinking, yep. wait a second. Uh, is that <laughs> the French L for silent. the cab's coming the to L pick L me up? The L <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the L silent. Well, well yeah. Kelly, you said you grew up in Indiana. So now you're, now you're here in the illustrious town of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And, and what do you do in Murfreesboro? Well, um, I moved here 21 years ago. Um, best thing I ever did. Uh, I left the snow behind in Indiana. Good for you. Uh, so every once in a while, it's good to see. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I had this bright idea to be able to car wash, you know, five years ago. So I, you know, hit the search button and looked around for some properties, found some properties, and uh, we so, built the car wash, and here we are. Now you you glossed over that real real quick like <laughs> yeah. okay a lot <laughs> yeah so now I know the story but Derry hasn't heard it and our viewers and listeners haven't heard it so so please elaborate on how Kelly got into the car wash business all right uh, so I went to a car wash in town I will not specify yeah, which car wash names. was uh, and so I went in and you know I. Uh, I had a black car, so I thought, you know what? Perfect. I'm going to get the top wash. It's going to be great. It's going to come out shining. I get out of my car, and all the way down the right on my side, the driver's side, it looked like dried milk. And I thought, hmm, I know that wasn't on there when I came in here. And so the other side was perfectly, everything else was clean, just my side. And so I walked in, and I just said, hey, listen. I said, I just came out of the car wash, and there's dried stuff all over my car. And he said, well, if we put it on your car when you came in, why or how could we get it off? Well, that was not what I was there for. I was there to get a clean car. (laughs) So I said, well, I just want to know if I can get it cleaned off. And he goes, well, once again, I'll just give you your money back. If we put it on, why would we take it off? Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're not supposed to get our cars clean at a car wash, right? So I thought, hmm, okay, no issues. So he kindly, as he's chewing on his sandwich, gives me a $20 gift card and says, here you go. And I, and I thought, wow, you know, what great customer service is that when you come in to try a car wash and you could, you know, if you come in there and you get a great car wash and great service, you're going to come back. Right. And like, that's the premise of doing that service. Like that's right. Exactly. So, and never once did he ever say, Hey, I apologize, nothing. And so something just came over me at that moment. And I said, I'll tell you what, you know what? Here's your gift card back. I don't want it. And I said, as a matter of fact, you know what? 
I'm going to build a car wash one day, and you're going to know exactly who I am. And he looked at me and says, okay. And I said, okay, thank you. And I left. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I went and cleaned my car what up. A and snarky, beautiful, just like. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And so I went. It's a little bit of a middle finger, but it's kind of polite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I was really polite. I, we were smiling. I was smiling all the way out. And so I got home and I said uh, to my wife, I said, hey, uh, I'm going to build a car wash. And she said, are you crazy? I said, sometimes it takes crazy to take these leaps and bounds in life, you know, to be an entrepreneur. And she said, good luck with that. And I said, okay. And so, you know what? I started brainstorming. Every day I was talking to somebody and writing things down or going to other car washes in town and, and just getting that experience of, hey, how do they treat me when I pull in? You know, is it is it a for sale on top of you? You know, how are they talking to you? How's the car coming out? Stuff like that. And so I did this for months. And then I started building a business plan. And lo and behold, I threw the business plan off to a few banks. And I'm thinking, yeah, they're all going to tell me no. And I'm in Florida on the beach, you know having a margarita, sitting there watching the sun, enjoying life. And <laughs> I get this phone call from this guy, and he said, hey, are you sitting down? And I said, and Kelly thought, I'd like to ruin this by being an entrepreneur. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I want to add the most yeah. craziest stress ever to my life. Should I do this? And so I said, I am. And he says, we got you approved when you want to start building this car wash. And so I'm thinking, holy cow, this is really happening. And so here we are five years later. It's good and, you know, it's yeah. fun. Yeah, but you didn't tell the part when you opened. What was going on when you opened? COVID. Oh, well, yeah, COVID. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, for, I forgot. I yeah. forgot. Yeah. And so <laughs> that was kind of, uh, that was tough because, you know, here you are borrowing millions of dollars and you're opening this car wash and there is and nobody nobody's driving coming in <laughs> yeah, nobody's going yeah. anywhere. yeah and so i had this idea and i thought you know what we, we got to figure something out here how can we get cars in here so we basically just said hey we're gonna we're gonna close off our towels because we we're we're one of the only ones in town matter of fact i think we're the only ones in town and we got a, a nice 16 by 16 microfiber towel with glass cleaner out at a station out there and you can use that when you get done it's all complimentary you can use the towels the glass cleaner and I thought, so how can we get people to come in here? Because they want to come in here for the vacuums and they want to get their car dried and stuff like that. And so I thought, you know what we're going to do? Anybody that buys a wash, we're going to towel dry that car off completely by hand the old way they used to do it. And so created a little bit of a buzz and people started coming through more and more and more. And they were selling more memberships and stuff like that. And so you would get a car wash. You'd pull around. We had cones. You pulled all the way around in the parking lot. And there'd be six or seven of us there to dry your car off. So I, I laid no employees off. I That's didn't awesome. cut any hours. Matter of fact, I hired people just because we needed more people. Right. Um, and then if they needed it vacuumed, they would get out of their car and walk away. We had vacuumed some of the cars. We didn't do that a whole lot, but we did a few. And they loved it. And so it just created a good buzz. And, you know, people started coming. And then COVID went away. And. And well, here cicada we are. season's good. <laughs> nice. That's outstanding. It is, it is outstanding to hear hospitality is still alive. Correct. I, I, well, I, also, not that it's just alive, but that becomes the sell point. Yeah. I, like, well, I've been questioning it. Oh, okay. Because so, you spent too long up north. Yeah. I think no. it's, <laughs> but it's funny you say that. So... After the first day of the National Restaurant Association show, we went and had pizza at uh, just a small little mom and pop pizza joint, um, and and I can't remember the name of it, but they've been around for years. It, it it's absolutely amazing food, but we walk in and the lady up front, the hostess, is is she's probably I don't know forty five to fifty five years old, and she seats us and hey, tells us that's our age just okay just fyi <laughs> like, don't say it like you're exempt from that status now <laughs> like just so you know <laughs> Shh. Hush. all right I'm trying to feel younger so there's a me. lady there she's our age and and <laughs> so, <laughs> this freaking guy i warned you i texted you i, I, I know I so know, that's on you know, all right so but she just like she gave me the whole story of the menu 
told me all about the restaurant. Like, and we had a we had a group of nine or ten of us, and she was just just happy as a pig in slop, just telling us everything there was to know about this place. And if you have any questions, I'm right up front. Please feel free to come get me. You know, your server is very knowledgeable, but I'll be happy to come back and tell you anything you want to know. And a couple of the guys started asking questions, and she was just just pleased as punch. Like, I mean, she was just happy as can be. But you just don't see stuff like that anymore, Correct. right? Um, and it, it's one of, one of my big takeaways from this weekend about how it, where I was thinking our industries were losing hospitality that – is what we're based off of, right? Correct. Any service, whether it's a restaurant, a car wash, or supporting locals with Instagram or teaching, I mean, it's all surrounded by how we treat people. And people want to come back to you if you treat them properly. I've just been blown away the last couple of weeks of some of these places that I've gone and gotten what we would consider in today's world over the top hospitality but it's really not over the top it's just what you do <laughs> right yeah. you know you, you set yourself apart from all these other guys that are just not doing it right it's really kind of it's really kind of cool i like it when i'm so, welcomed when i walk into a door like somebody recognizes you you know right off the bat that's hospitality two things on me on that I, it used to really annoy me when the one of those little local nacho bar places welcome to and i was like man all right you got me walking through the door but then as you start seeing other places and it wasn't the big hurrah it was just the hey welcome in guys i was like oh, okay wait you noticed i walked in now now i'm not like you intentionally had somebody turn to me yeah. and so that's one but this morning i was getting coffee at a little place over near my daughter's school and i'm waiting on my order and guy walks in and he's got his little to-go canteen cup whatever blah blah hey mr mike good to see you back hey called him didn't miss a beat he saw him come in set his drink down like he knew it was 7 14 or whatever you know it was mm -hmm. sets down appreciate you guys we'll see you tomorrow and like it was just it was a 30 second interaction tops yeah and yeah. he had a great experience and yeah. me as the second you know customer there off to the side I was like, that right there. Like, get to know your guy, because obviously he's in here, and just, like, you do that. And I'm sure you all see repeat guys with the car wash and stuff, and, yeah, and it, it becomes that thing where you're like, hey, I recognize the car, recognize the person, recognize the whatever. Um, and, and that makes a difference. Just that little individual piece of, hey, you know, we got you here. So that's, yeah. um, and like I said, it's Great. just what you should do. So the, other, the other side of your story that has me, has me thinking, and it's funny, you, you – You've gone through that journey because I actually talked about it earlier today. So we're going to do an exercise. Okay. <clears throat> so I, I want all of you to raise your hand up. All right. Now raise it higher. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Trent. <laughs> okay. You can put your hands down. All right. So the thing about that is, um, Ask yourself now, why didn't you raise your hand as high as you could to start with? Why, did, why didn't you seize the moment to achieve away. excellence, right? But what I have found is that most entrepreneurs, when, when they have a moment in front of them, they, they take it to the max, right? You, in the middle of a pandemic opened a car wash that cost millions of dollars to build with and full in, service drying with and, and and instead of going oh well you, you actually took the next step and said this is not a this is not a bad thing this is this is an opportunity for me to do more right dan you did the same thing in the middle of a pandemic instead of going oh well good luck fellas <laughs> you, you open a business to help people around you, right? And and I have found that, especially in entrepreneurship, we have a knack for finding negative moments in life and turning them into some of the most positive and impactful moments ever. And I feel like both of you guys especially have done just that, right? And, and this whole weekend, I, I saw moments 
through my my trip that it was just just that there was an opportunity to go meet x or y or z person that i would have never had the opportunity to meet again so i gotta go flying across you know 500 yards worth of expo center to go do it but did did you meet guy fietti um i did not meet guy fietti oh, but i did meet robert irvine oh nice. nice personally i'd rather meet robert irvine robert irvine is robert you're epic i mean the guy is he is just absolutely amazing hospitality is in his soul right right um he is very big into the military side of the world i am as well and and <laughs> this gentleman has never met me a day before in his life and i literally I literally sprinted 500 yards <laughs> because i had heard he was there and was only going to be there for a few more minutes and sprinted across this <laughs> expo center to get to his booth to shake his hand and tell him thank you for what he does and i would love if he wanted to get involved in one of our veteran events and you know what he says to me i would love to get with get with jonathan he's my assistant he handles my entire life <laughs> and we'll get something worked out that's too cool yeah, right that's that's great, man. Man. i mean it's great it's absolutely amazing but you had to seize that moment but it, it i could have clammed up and gone <clears throat> ooh, mm. Yeah. Or you could have jogged and missed it. Or I could have jogged. Because I only raised I my hand. Walked. It's funny. I thought you were going to go with the hand raising thing. Because I did. I just got just right there. Yeah. And, but even before that, though, I was already in check. I thought, which hand to raise? And I, <laughs> because, and, and here's, I determined left hand because I saw Dan over there raise his right hand. So I got to kind of mirror it. And so I went with my left hand only because Dan went with his right hand. Yeah. And, I think a lot of entrepreneurs don't look around them to see what everybody else is doing. If they do, I think it's a lot like what Kelly did. I, he, you know, he's out here car wash hopping. I like what they do. I don't like what they do. Pulls in these parts of it, writes the business plan by seeing what's out there. And yep. I'm sitting over here like, well, Dan's got his right hand up. I better, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I didn't want to crowd you over here. So no, you're good. Uh, you're good. I love that, it. That's an interesting point though. Cause I mean, the, so oftentimes, I think as humans, uh, just we're, we're, I don't even know if it's as humans, we're just almost trained to do just that little bit. Just, you know, just do this, just do, just, just, we'll jog across there, see if you can meet him. And if you don't yeah. meet him, then, you know, not a big deal. Well, it well you tried. It wasn't meant to happen. It wasn't tried, meant to happen. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you dang, I'm sprinting yeah. across the expo center. So, oh, I look like a madman. It was funny. I got to the thing and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> nice okay. to meet you, Robert. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. But I'm sure was, he appreciated tough. that. Yeah, he was just heavy I, breathing barbecue guy. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I did take him by surprise, but it wasn't um, it wasn't that bad. Oh, man. all right, guys. So every week, um, I didn't do one last week, and I'm killing myself for it. Slacker. I know it's awful, man. But every week we have a segment called Mac or Beans. All right, because I'm a barbecue guy, it's macaroni and cheese or smoked baked beans, right? So it's you're one or the other, okay? So, Kelly, mac and cheese or baked beans? It's got to be mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Yeah, you okay. listen, anything that's got cheese in it, how do you go wrong? I, 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 <laughs> Especially I if agree, it's but right? the beans have brisket. The, brisket, the beans that's have brisket in them, so it's kind of. I, I'm torn. Well, brisket and brown sugar go a long way, too. Like that's Well, <laughs> hey, let me throw this out there. So I was at your place today. I went over there for lunch, and I was looking at the menu, and I seen all that stuff on your menu. And she says, because I got the wings. And by the way, if you've never been over there, go over there. The wings are fantastic. His wings oh, are, are they not? Yes, and listen, I used to, I'm, a, I'm a big slick, uh, slick Pig fan, yeah. and I love their smoked wings. Yeah. But Dan took me over to his place, and... Yeah. That wings, it's right. Oh, yeah. So I've had them three times now. <laughs> See, <there you laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, anyway, so I went over there and I, you know, what am I going to get? And I'm thinking, and I seen the beans and I seen pot the potato salad and everything. And mm -hmm. that that's a unique, you've got a unique potato salad there. Yep. It's different. And yep. the coleslaw as well. So I thought, you know what? I had mac and cheese the last time we came here. And I remember those long noodles with that creamy cheese and how it was baked. And I thought, you know what? 
I'm going again. There you go. I'll tell you what. Hey, look. It is fantastic. <laughs> when so, you find it, ain't no yeah, danger. Yeah, if it ain't broke, yeah. don't fix it. So, well, I appreciate so that very much. I can't much. go against I the do. mac and cheese. So it's for good. me, it's definitely mac and cheese. All right, Dan. Mac or beans? Why not both? You got to pick one of those. Don't fit the segment, oh, man, Dan. That's that. what. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Dan. You had one assignment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Failed. You had one job. <laughs> no, I'd have to say back and cheese, too. I love cheese. I mean, I can just eat cheese right off the block. You know? Oh, like, yeah. Every barbecue yeah. place I go to, I got to try their mac and cheese. I want to see if it's coming out of a bag or, yeah. out, you know. It's almost like, it's it, like we judge. Yeah, we're yeah, judging yeah, your barbecue, judging but we're judging it. your macaroni and cheese, too. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah, your sides I mean, are always judged. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, look, I will tell you, I, I I know some some really good barbecue guys, and uh, for a long time, I always judged the place off the brisket. If the brisket was good, if it was on point, then the rest of it was going to be good. And a lot of times, that's that's correct <laughs> until you get to the sides. Oh yeah, because you can have some really good barbecue. And, and you can really screw up crappy. some mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so I can taste the powder in your mac and cheese. Like that's not. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Oh. Well, right. the, the the mac and beans segment though, it's always a this or that thing. So that's how it got going. So I got one this week. I've been sitting on this one. Been wanting to. Uh, we in some that we've had in the past. It was like, do you like your whiskey neat or on you know ice and that kind of stuff. So, but this week's. Does your toilet paper go forwards or backwards? So Look. I even narrowed it down to the beard or the mullet. Look. All right. And there's, by the way, there's only one right answer here. I'm going to let y'all know now. So there's. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. When I read that earlier. <laughs> so. I, look, I, it's been a crazy busy day. Like, I didn't even know you were at the restaurant today. That's how busy yeah. it was. <laughs> I. I uh, I got the comedic that relief you needed. No. <laughs> I got that text and I read through the whole thing. I I really read the whole thing. Oh, I'm surprised. Thanks. I didn't process any of it <laughs> for Except... about 45 seconds. <laughs> Did that say toilet I, paper? <laughs> but I blended the toilet paper with the beard and the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. There. So I literally, I like, I put my phone down and I stood up. And I took about four steps out of the office and went, what the fuck did that say? <laughs> <laughs> and turned right back around, went right back in the office and sat down and went, yeah, there you did. Boy, I did not read that right. I'm okay. just glad you read it. <laughs> Didn't give me the standard thumbs up because I sent it. So, <laughs> oh, it was great. All right. So is your toilet paper going forwards or backwards over or under? However you'll say it, beer or mullet over or under. Yeah. Um, I would, I, I don't know what that means. The oh, paper come comes on. out the back. No, it does not. the The paper comes. Uh, I'm sorry. What What is yours? I I, I agree. If, is it Is it coming over the top like it's coming down to you, or is it going around the backside? Yeah, the you got to pull it. No. So are you saying like the mullet is the wall? The the correct. If and you've the got beard a wall is on the top, and the the mullet comes down behind it, like okay. next to the wall. Okay. Party the, the beard back. comes over the front, where if you drew eyes on it, it's like hanging like a beard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I so you're you. saying mullet for the toilet paper? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it mullet? is in my house. No, nah, I'm going beard. That's right. But, all the way. Beard. See, you're look, wrong. I'm glad these to, gentlemen. I have to tell you though. Trent. But yeah, okay. Yeah. And if it's backwards, I got to turn it around. Dude, I get so ticked off because one of our custodians at school puts it on mullet style and it drives me insane. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, like at the restaurant, it, it's neither. Well, you got pull types or something. Yeah, at the restaurant, it's 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 sideways. No, great. Right. Okay. So it's more like sideburns. All right, stop. All right. So. Same thing with a wash. It, you, you, they come down, the big rolls come down towards the middle. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Traditional home bathroom setting without commercial toilet paper, all right? It's it's forward or backwards. And forward's I think the only the answer. house it's forward, but. You know, Good for I mean, your like wife or whoever's should, taking care of it. Look, man, I couldn't tie my shoes without my wife. <laughs> okay, don't have, you ask my me, kids don't refill the toilet paper, so here. I know it's not them. So <laughs> I'm notorious if one of the kids runs out, you get the roll sitting up on it, you know? And it's, I'm like, you put it on the empty roll to stand it up. Like, figure this out. Great. Well, I'm glad that our guests, y'all, I mean, good, you have good job, gentlemen. Good job. Sitting there to, to don't change you? It out, right? Don't you? You're I got mean, nothing not else. Hard. Like, right? Just <laughs> it's spring loaded. It does have to work for you. Like, when you did know? we figure that out, though? What age did we finally uh, figure out that we got to change it? 
Oh, not he, 14. My teenager, he's yeah. 19. He still ain't. Okay, I, I was going to say not 14. <laughs> I know that for sure. Yeah. So I think once you become a parent and you see what they're <laughs> capable of, you know, you go, wow. You know, I, I go up in my daughter's room and I'm like, I walk in there and I'm like, how many toilet paper rolls are you going to stand there on the edge of that toilet paper dispenser I before love you it. put a roll back on there? Nah. Doesn't and matter. there's six or seven of them, and then you know, and then I just grab and say, "Hey, there's a can right here." And you throw them in that can right there. But where's your toilet paper? Like oh, this it's is down all there, uh, yeah. two square foot area yeah. of operation here. Uh, ta, ta, ta. But the roll will be on the floor, Absolutely. so you can grab it real quick with your hand, uh. I guess. So it's like, wait a second, that's. <laughs> let me show you what's on the wall there. That's oh. a roller. You put the roll on there, and it rolls right out. It's pretty simple. It's so good. It's a so great macro beans. By, by far the longest macro beans second. There goes my <laughs> mic. So anyhow, I'm trying. Trent told me it was a little. It's, it's 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 so, fun. So you know, if it's if fun. you got that mac and beans segment, so for me, uh, uh, and you're a barbecue guy, so here's one of the things. Obviously, barbecue is is my favorite, other than sushi. So if oh, if you're a, yeah, a barbecue guy, so is it sauce or no sauce? So it's a We've that's had a, this conversation. Yeah, recently. it's a it's a regional thing. So for me, that's not what he said. He said sauce or no sauce. What's yours? You are. I told you, today. feisty. Shh, shut up. Feisty was the word. Not fiery. I'll tell you feisty. why. And when you answer, I'll tell you why I'm answering. So why I'm asking that. For question. me personally, it's always no sauce. Okay. So I, I love sauce. I all of my sauces are my recipes. I wrote all of them, built them up. They're all they're all amazing. But if I'm cooking. And it's for me personally. I, I'm probably not going to put sauce on it. Um, ribs, especially, like I, I don't think ribs need sauce, right? They're if you cook them properly, they're juicy, they're tender. You know, they got a little bit of bite. You know, and and the flavor comes from the smoke <laughs> and the seasoning you put on it. What do you know? You're a seventy seventh and not. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Boom. Oh, like, I mean, man. that was a one two. I'm shot. sorry. He You're did. Right. He went to I a comp- big thing in Lebanon. There was a hundred and fifteen. Average. So. <laughs> C plus. So <laughs> I just I've cooked in two barbecue competitions my entire life. Okay, two. One was in Huntsville last year. One was in Lebanon a couple months ago. I have no idea because I'm not a barbecue competition guy. I cook barbecue from a restaurant. Two totally different worlds. I had no idea that the one in Lebanon was the third largest competition in the country all year long. There's 150 teams that show up to this this comp. That's just the ribs comp, right? 150 teams for ribs, or is that well, all it's, together? It's for all of them. Okay, yeah, still another. But I mean, it's it's insane. Like some of these guys pull up in these rigs, and it's it's like you have a house too. Did you see any of the what? pictures out of Smoke Slam? Yeah, from from Carrie stuff. Yeah, dude, some of that stuff was I, that's, wild. That's what I'm saying, man. I mean, that's the second and Those third are, mortgage. I, like, <laughs> yes, yeah, holy cow! Look, there was a rig when I pulled in. So I pulled into this competition at Smoke on the Shores in Lebanon. Okay, <laughs> and I pull in, and I'm one of the last people to get there, <laughs> and I got my F two fifty and my smoker that I'm pulling behind my truck, and the bed of the truck's got the tent. <laughs> and it's got a couple of coolers and some chairs and that's it <laughs> and we're we're there we're there to show up no no this the, the first rig i saw was probably a 36 foot long trailer uh fully loaded had everything you could imagine on it tvs awnings he had i think six barrel smokers sitting out by the back I mean, just gorgeous. And then he's pulling it with what looked like an RV that was just as long, if not longer, had pop-outs on either side. He's know. got 80 foot of traveling gear. I mean, like, yeah. that's just, golly. Insane. Good for him. Insane. Absolutely insane. So, for me personally, no sauce. Okay. Okay. 
you know, because you, you always say sauce or no sauce. And I always, the reason why I ask is because I went in the, the first time with Dan and mm-hmm. I had no sauce. Yep. And so they're the I like the crispiness of them. They were really good with the ranch dressing. It was fantastic. Today I went in, I got sauce. So I'm not a sauce, sauce, sauce guy. Yep. So the sauce was really good, but it was also very messy. Oh. And I hate going in wings, and then you look down at your fingers and you go, oh, yeah. I got to go back to work like this. That's right. Yeah. And so that's yeah. for me, if if I'm going where I have to, you know, look presentable, Mm-hmm. There's no sauce involved. Yeah, and so I think, and then no sauce is is how I like it, anyways, because I like the the ranch dressing. Yeah, but um, yeah, um, today it was good. It's good, and uh, I'm going back. Uh, I love it. Soon. Dan, sauce or no sauce? No sauce. No. Oh, give me the sauce, Miss Dairy. Oh, heck yeah. Miss Terry, I say that's. <laughs> <laughs> We're throwing shots now. So, <laughs> they coming out. That's not a shot though. I took out that kid tried to burn me. And <laughs> uh, didn't, didn't work out. In did his not favor. work at all. But uh, uh, no, I. Uh, what's the old Saturday Night Live? You like the sauce? The sauce is good. I get you more sauce like that. <laughs> yeah, like I. You're not going to over sauce them for me. So uh, that's just my two. I, I like it. now. That being said. I do have an affection for like a Cajun dry rub. Like that there's something about especially if it's the right amount of spice level and it's not too whatever. But ah, I like the sauce, man. Like I a, love a, it. a nice great wet wing is just it's it's where it's at. So mm-hmm. I go either way on the wings. I, I like my wings the way they are, just just straight up. Um they're they're really good that way. Uh, there's a, I've been on a kick. I got a new garlic parmesan sauce. I haven't put it on the menu menu yet. We have it available, but put it on. This the is going to come yet. out. People come out. I didn't know anything about it. You're yeah. going to screw your hostess up now. That'd be all right. Ah, gosh. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> um, but I've been on a, a garlic parm kick and it's, it's really good. And it's not, it's not, it's a real light sauce. So it's not like, it's not like cute. It's thick and you know, you get crap everywhere, but it's uh, just enough sites there. <laughs> What's over, he mutter over there, <laughs> man? Over there. He's, he's like that barbecue sauce is so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's, he's he's daydreaming about Trent's wings. hungry. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I might just start bringing wings every Wednesday. <laughs> good stuff. All right, so Dan, you talked about. Um, you're taking 615 to another level. So is all of that in play now? Like if if somebody called you and needed a new website today, can you can you jump right in and go forward with that now? Or are you still working on infrastructure and logistics? We can actually do it now. Um, I have business partners in other areas, so we, uh, we can handle that. But our official launch doesn't happen until June 15th. That's when we really go public and we really go big up okay. we're going to start that up in pleasant view called 615 day yep. june 15th so yep. that's kind of our launch to say this is our services this is what we offer and uh we just really get ourselves out there get my ribbon cutting that day for 615 local from okay. the cheatham county chamber of commerce and nice nice okay so what all is 615 day going to be oh wow <laughs> It is a day, let me tell you. We're going to have vendor a vendor expo okay. up there at the livery stables. It's a very historic building in downtown yeah. Pleasant View. We're yeah. on Stoplight Town. I love uh, it. We have a main street, and uh, it sits there. And we're going to have, I think we've got about 25 vendors right now. We're going to have food trucks outside. Um, really would like to get a few more because I know people okay. love food trucks. So yeah. uh, we're going to have face painters, stuff for the kids. Uh, at noon, they're doing our ribbon cutting. The mayor's supposed to be there. And, nice. You know, the mayor of Pleasant View, which that town has doubled in size probably in the last three, four years. So, How many people do you think will be be at the event? We're estimating about 150. We're, okay. We're estimating 150 grab bags that uh, people, you know, local businesses are donating stuff to put in yep. these grab bags. We got giveaways. We got some raffles. We actually have... Um, a nonprofit coming up that's going to be raffling off a brand new Harley. Nice. And it's not going to happen that day. Their Harley's going to be there, but this is a nationwide raffle. 
Oh, okay. And they actually might not call it a raffle, but a sweepstakes because there's a legal term for it. Right. It's okay. one of the, anyway. Whichever the legal one is, yeah, is the one yeah, you're going yeah, with, yeah. right? That's sweepstakes it. or raffle or something. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. Um, and yep. that's on 615. Yep. All June day 15th. event. That's going to go from 11 to 3 for the public. Okay. Right after that, the town of Pleasant View, every third Saturday, puts on a huge car cruise in called Cruising and Grooving. Okay. We're not actually associated with it, but we support it quite a bit. Yep. I've worked with them and tried to help support it and uh, get it out there more and more. And it's grown. It used to be in the villages up there. And if you haven't been up there, the villages is kind of like you got residents and you got commercial all in one. And they used to have it in the roundabout there. But it's gotten yeah. so big now, they've moved it to our veterans park. We usually get about 150 cars up there. I love it. And that'll go from five to eight. And then okay. after that, we're having a, we're calling it a concert now. We have okay. got a stage, a, a stage we're setting up outside, queued up, queued up 615. Yeah, it's actually got 615 in the name. That's our local barbecue restaurant up there. Okay. And uh, we got Chris Bell, and he is a Southern rock, amazing, amazing guitar player and singer and songwriter. He used to play for Bo Bice. When Bo came in second to Carrie Underwood. Yeah. yeah. We also got Lance Lopez coming up as a special guest. Lance is a blues player. And together, these two just put on an amazing performance. And they're actually in another band um, with Greg T. Walker from Blackfoot. And they now are calling themselves Two Wolf because okay. he couldn't get the Blackfoot name. But yeah. So they do rock cruises together and everything. So this is not nice. just some local guy going from bar to bar. Yeah. We're actually bringing one of the best shows Pleasant View's ever seen. That's awesome. That's awesome. It cost to cost anything to get in a six one five day? We are doing it free to the public as our okay. community give back. Um, not free to us, but <laughs> it's right. free to the public. Now the vendors are twenty five bucks to get in. Okay. Which I made it real cheap just to, you know, help break some of that cost. Because we do have to rent the stables out, and the food trucks are fifty bucks outside. Okay, that's the only cost you, that we're we're charging to anybody. So, okay, any sponsorships available? Yeah, we still have sponsorships available. If you go on six one five local dot co, that's six one five local dot co. There is a sponsorship link on the top menu. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Now, can I give a few shout outs to our sponsors? Our please, please do. Well, right now we have the Hampton Inn in Pleasant View has given us five rooms in exchange for sponsorship. Nice. That will help my band out, having them a uh, few rooms there and then two two rooms for support staff for me. Nice. Uh, we actually have uh, Social Indoor. They do all the digital advertising. You go in the bathroom and you're taking a leak. You look up and you see yep. that digital ad. Yep. That's social indoor. Okay. So we got our ads on every board in Cheatham County and Montgomery County. Up in nice. The That's outstanding. All right. So if you want to sponsor, call Dan. Be great. Yeah, I've been I'll over take, here. I'll definitely take the, your cash. You're you researching? <laughs> I, no, I'm not researching. Just interested in it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just dumb enough to realize that 615 day is June 15th, and that's that, it took a second to click. So. Okay. But, and you're a teacher. Uh, ooh, yikes. All right. Um, What's a dollar fifty times four? A uh, dollar <laughs> fifty times four? Twelve? No. Absolutely. No, six. Really Sorry. Not. He's Sorry. so close. <laughs> <laughs> he was halfway there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my school year's over, and I've turned in my laptop, so I don't want to hear about it. Um, anyway. <laughs> 16 divided by two, right? <laughs> Count 16 divided by two, baby. Uh, yeah, he, he's got a number of sponsors on here. But this looks pretty doggone cool, Dan. Uh, like, uh, having it at the stables, that'd be a, that's a cool venue. Uh, I like when people stretch out a little bit and kind of go something that's a little bit out of yeah. the out of the norm. So that, that's going to be a fantastic day. So Yeah. Excellent. 615 day at, what, the livery stables? Yeah. So you might have to make a make a trip. Go over to Cheatham County. I'm looking at your yeah. map here. Yeah, go over to Davidson and go west Someone, one. Yeah. Done. Yeah, we're right on the Robertson Cheatham County line. <clears throat> Pleasant View is such a pretty place too. Like, I mean, the name fits really the is. the community. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, a lot of them screwed up, but that one they nailed. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> just my two cents. Kelly, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. As far as what the plans are, you got you got Splashies rocking and rolling. Just. 
printing money left and right. People coming to see you, getting their cars shiny. They don't have milk splashed all over one side of their vehicles anymore. Well, we wish we were printing money, but no, it's been good. Uh, no, we, you know, we just we just want to keep rolling like we're doing. Uh, obviously, I think for us, it's just kind of growing the business. You know, getting out there a little bit more that yeah. we are truly local, uh, and just doing those right things. Um, so we yeah. talked about hospitality earlier as kind of a differentiator of Correct. your business comparative to some, right? Um, I live on the opposite side of town, so it's it's a little bit of a drive. But why why should people like me who who don't necessarily live close to your sh- your shop drive past the other X amount of car washes to come to yours? Well, you know we are truly local, uh, and um, you know we we give back a lot. We do a lot of fundraisers and stuff like that for the schools and other organizations. And and that, but when you come into my wash, it's it's kind of like you're you're going to see your friend. T- to be honest, uh, you know, smiling faces. Everybody's helpful. Uh, Dan, I'll tell you, he's been there several times. You know, we always want to do the extra. Like, you know, we, we do a lot of stuff that we don't even have on our menu and you don't have to pay for it. Someone comes in and says, hey, can you guys spray my mats off? We spray them off. It's no big deal. You know what I mean? We spray them off. And we do other things, too, as well. So for, for us, it's, uh, and you're driving down the road and it's dirty. It, it is, you know what I mean? You're just not feeling good. Right. You know, it's like getting a new haircut. Come out there, <laughs> oh, yeah, man, man, bucks, that is, you know? And yeah. so when you got your car, and, and, you know, cars are expensive nowadays. And so mm-hmm. you pull into a car wash, you know you're going to get a really good car wash, and then people are smiling and friendly and wanting to help you and stuff like that. And then you pull around, you got the nice towels and the glass cleaner and the, and the good vacuums, and everything just fits. So it's like, wow, this is a good so you know why wouldn't I come back? Yeah. And and yeah. I think for us that's that's been the mold uh, that we've shaped uh, for splashies. And I love, love the colors when you're going through there. Yeah. You, think, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know you get a lot of no you didn't have any before you but they're cool colors. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you get a lot just of just a clarification <laughs> statement there. Yeah. Just yeah. correct. Read and, the and, fine print. That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know you get a lot of. You know, when I was trying, I was setting out on this journey. A lot of people are like, are the chemicals really colored? Well, I've learned that, yes, they are, if you want them that way. And there's some <laughs> people who go really cheap, but they put really nice lights in there, and you think, wow, look at that purple chemical. Well, no, it's not really purple. It's it's the lighting. The lighting. But for ours, you know, I and, and here's the thing. Is you guys got an open invitation. Come on over, look at Splashies. I'll take you back yeah. in the chemical room. I'll show you exactly what our chemicals are and or the get, smell of give them. Give me a few days this weather. Yeah, yeah. We'll, and so we'll they are truly colored. Up. And so, you know, one of the things, too, though, we, we, we have this huge event every year. It's called Clown Town. And I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Mm-hmm. But when we, you know, I started this journey and I, I, I said to my employees, I said, I want to do something out of the box that no one does. And they're all looking at me like, okay, this is going to be great. You know, I said, let's do a haunted car wash. And at first they were like, Hmm. And so then I started showing them some things and and they grasped it and they were like, Holy cow, this could be cool. And it has been cool. And so we've done it now for three years. We're getting ready. Yeah. We're getting ready on our third year, fourth year. And it's been amazing. And so every year in October, we do it two weekends out of the year. And I mean, Great. hundreds now and I hundreds gotta drive, of, My wife's going to hear this and be like, oh, we're going to the haunted car wash. I'm yeah, like, yeah, right. yeah, you, you got Yours to. Too? Dude, man. <laughs> uh, I, can tell you, I can tell you right now, as soon as my wife hears it, she's going to be like, we're going. Well, what she doesn't know is I'm going to take one of these cars. I'm going to give one away. Uh, just, I, I don't, I'll find a way to give somebody. I'm selfishly going to use one of them, though. Yeah. And I'm going to go over and check it out. Sure. But then we'll have to make the haunted car wash for sure because yeah, that'll yeah. be. I love it. Uh, uh, shameless plug for the city of Murfreesboro. If if you ever have kids, go through their thing. They do it in the weekends in October for the at Cannonsburg, and it just runs on the weekends. It's not, yeah. and I'm talking about. I re, I've been to Cannonsburg probably hundred times. It's one of my little local spots. Like if I just need to kind of go and have a day, I know exactly yeah. the walk on a wall. Like it's not a big deal. Don't have to think about it. I got in there and I'm like, okay, that's out of place. Oh, that's out of place. And I'm kind of going through there. And then you get back to where the art center is and they snake you through there. And they did a great job with the fog and talking about lights. They had this, it was green. It was lime green, but it looked like it came up to about your waist and you couldn't see it below it. Something touched my leg 
and I'm sure it, it may have been the air blowing. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't get out of that place fast enough. So we snake on through. You go up by the railroad car and all this, and you're walking out by where all the old farm machinery is, right? And you go in the backside by the creek, and you come out by the um, uh, car garage, and you're doing your thing, and you get almost to the end and this dude turns around and he's got a chainsaw with no chain and he revved it up i about left everyone in my crowd because i was gone and i swore he was chasing me i was out and i'm not the person to get scared so same as plug for cansburg and and what the city does there great job but kelly i'm gonna come visit your it. your scary car wash or haunted car wash and uh, did i call you carrie i just did didn't i yeah i, God, that I knew i was gonna do it that's yeah. why I wrote down my apologies, Kelly. Oh, that's all right. So that's all right. you wrote I've, it down. This is your fault. You know, I, so, I've got reviews out there so that, you know, Kevin, the owner, or, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> Kelly, Kevin, Kerry. At least it started yeah. with a K. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right? I could have called same. you worse. So. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's uh, all the same. Gosh. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that could be you, my clown name. You you didn't, you there you go. You, you didn't tell him he was 77th. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> no, 51. So, <laughs> <laughs> 77 the ribs the first in our hearts yeah, yeah, right, like, right. That's, thank you thank you yeah thank I'm, you. I'm not 55 and getting my free coffees yet uh, oh I, I, gosh I do free coffee at 55 well yeah don't tell me that. all right so i'm all about coffee we started a thing a, a few weeks back I shouldn't say we i started a thing a few weeks back where i tell dad jokes so this week i only have one okay and I don't even really think it's that good, but could be. I tell dad jokes. So you have he doesn't a, laugh. You have a dad joke too, right? Well, I did. You just crashed and burned, but anyway. <laughs> Thanks for that stepping was, on it. Was, did, uh, is it catching up to you now? Is it a slow burn? Is that no, what just happened? It, it was like your test. It took you forty five seconds yeah. earlier to catch up. It, it, it took me a minute. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. I told you, man, my brain's just been going all day. I'm disappointed though. Trent didn't even crack a smile, so it's like it, it was lost. Yeah. It may have made you giggle. Yeah. It lost. All right, so, so don't laugh. <clears throat> it's not, come on. What did A sushi say to B sushi? What's up? <laughs> no. <laughs> like. It's god awful. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm a sushi guy, bad. so I'm definitely gonna say it. I agree. It's god awful. Oh, I can't wait to use <laughs> it at a sushi restaurant. That would be great. Yeah. But uh, all right, what's your dad joke? Oh, you already told it. Um, oh, see, yeah. see, <laughs> that was the jab. Uh, that was the jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You said you were feisty, so I came prepared. <laughs> I'm backing off now. <laughs> put me in the corner, why don't you? <laughs> put, put Miss Derry in the corner. And put Miss Derry yeah, in I the corner. It. All right, dad jokes. You got one? Oh. I'm putting you on the spot. Not off the top of my head. Okay. All right. No. Kelly's like, none that are appropriate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't yeah. know if you want to hear him here. So. <laughs> All right. So, Dan, we are uh, at 615 Day. The weather's beautiful. Everybody has surrounded the stage, and you're walking up. What is your walkout music to that moment? Oh, Ooh, if I was performing, you know it's not me performing, right? Oh, no, you're not just, performing? No, Chris I'm Bell is kidding. performing. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. But what, oh, what is man, your walkout What is your walk up I music? would, you know, I'm a huge What's Metallica fan. Okay. So Metallica's walk-on music, I would love to do that one time. I'm telling you, there's a strong intro for Devil's Dance. That, that, doom, 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 like that, that yeah. would be, that's a great, just little, yeah. like, let it ride. Well done. Yeah. yeah I'm going to kind of put Chris Bell on the spot, and I hope he hears this. But, uh, Chris, we talked about your walk on music less than a week ago, and you gave me a great, you have a great idea. You just make it happen before there you go. I can't say what it is. Man, you got to pull off. I love it. I love it. Kelly? I would definitely have to say Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train, uh, for sure. That's a good one. That's, yeah, that's, that's a good one. 
I don't yeah. think he'd want me singing. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, yeah. if I'm in the car and it's loud, I'm probably yeah, one of I'll the best tell you guys, top yeah. ten yeah. singers in the country. View, Thursday night in Pleasant View is karaoke night at Cuda, and them boys come out to sing. Let me tell oh, you, that, oh, that's that's like a big night in Pleasant View. So you're asking me okay. out to Pleasant View to sing? Yeah, yeah. well, Ozzy not this Thursday. I'll be in Knoxville. Yeah, okay. I love it. Yeah, that love goes it. for you too, Charles. Um, <laughs> do they love have margaritas there? Yes, they do. Yeah, six, seven, eight oh, margaritas. We, we can, sing, we can yeah. sing all we want. Yeah, Whatever, Kelly. We can pregame in the park lot and go. <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. <laughs> Put Kelly down for 7.30. Cue yeah. that one up. <laughs> That's awesome. You better make it 9. I need time to drink. <laughs> and if you're coming, let me know. I'll text Jeremy and tell him to put you on the list. <laughs> Uh, I will not be texting you. Can well, I, I got to give a real shout out that. to Jeremy from yeah. Home Hunters. He works really hard to make that karaoke great. And Home Hunters is also one of our sponsors. Okay. They are a brokerage company in Pleasant View. So. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Well, Dan, if people want to get involved with 615, how? Obviously, we talked about 615 Day coming up, but. Other outside of that, how do they help you uh, continue the journey of helping local businesses? Well, you know, we have we got a Patreon account at the bottom of our website. He's always nice. You know, yes. we uh, I got to get a shout out to uh, Doug at the depot in Springfield. He was my original Patreon member, and we've had a few more since then. That was kind of the money that allowed me to get in my car and my Dodge Challenger and drive around to. The Cobb, Dab, whatever. We <laughs> <laughs> Way down there, and I went, yeah, there's nothing here. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, I, that that kind of helped out. But now, you know, if you want to reach out to me directly, you know, and guess what? My area code is 615-669-6645. If I don't answer the phone, my assistant will, or you might get our voicemail. But okay. leave a message, and we'll get back to you. We have some volunteer opportunities available. Uh, this 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 thing is getting bigger and bigger by the day, and it's just amazing how fast the community has kind of gotten around it. We kind of started doing a countdown around day 60, and I just put online 615 days in 60 days, and people are like, what is he talking about? You know, just kept doing that about every five days, and then there was no, I, don't know what I love it. I, love I raised it. my hand high there, John. Right, right. Yeah, I love it. Good deal, Kelly. How how can people uh, come come support you? Well, just uh, you know, we're on Warrior Drive, right there by uh, Caddy Corner from Costco, uh, mm -hmm. in front of the bank's apartments, fourteen twenty three. We're local. Uh, we're on obviously Instagram, Facebook. TikTok. And he's on uh, YouTube. You also remember that? Yeah, yeah, we're on. Yeah, Dan took care of us, put us on YouTube. Um, yeah, so just come on over there, see us. And I want to reach out to all the schools and too, because we do so many fundraisers with all the sport teams and stuff yeah. like that. Big sponsors yeah. of, you know, Riverdale and Rock Day, Rockvale, and all those schools. So yeah, yeah reach out to us. We do cool. a lot of that stuff, and yeah, we're there, and you know, we'll take good care of you. I love it. Car wash open seven days a week. Uh, well, yeah, seven days a week, okay. uh, Monday through Saturday. We open from 7 to 8, and then Sunday 9 to 6. I love it. That's awesome. It's good stuff. It hey, is Charlie, stuff. you know, you gave us a couple of gift certificates to give away at this thing. Yeah, On 615 day. So I'm reaching out to all the other local businesses in the 615. It doesn't matter if you're up there by Cheatham County. Anywhere in the 615, yeah. you want to donate something for us to give away, We'd appreciate it. Just reach out to me once again, 615-669-6645. I'll drive to you and pick it up. I love it. Look, guys, if you want to get involved with local businesses, these are two of the guys you want to contact. All right. So 615 Local is doing everything they can to help local businesses grow, be better, and do more, and make meaningful, lasting impacts in our immediate community nothing wrong with that any day of the week you spend money in your community it gets spent back on you so please please go help support 615 day um it's it's sounding like a pretty epic event 
It sounds like it's going to be a big time. I'm, I'm I hope the weather, I mean, it's June, uh, so you're hoping the weather holds up. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, yeah, we're going to make weather, that happen. Right. Weather's going to be there great. You go. <laughs> we've got a lot of people praying <laughs> that's going to happen. It's, it's June, yeah. right? June it, it, 615. That's right. You finally catch yeah. it. No, oh, I right. called it. <laughs> it's like a well-placed uh, dad joke. Some yeah. people just miss it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'll, look, yeah. see, the snarkiness started to spread. It's Couldn't quite around. get Dan or all the way in, but, you know. If you if you want to get uh your car wash go see our man kelly over at splashies get i can cicadas off Ooh. i can tell you that uh <laughs> i will see you way before halloween Fantastic. Um, but i will see you on halloween too i'll probably see you here in the next couple of days as soon as these storms and weather pass through. give it till sunday just so far just sunday yeah Sun- well, I, there's, sunday a, there's a nice right? chance through saturday okay then i'll come monday so just th- yeah yeah you, you're off on monday yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You think that's funny, isn't it? Yeah, that's great. I'm off. You're off for like the next three months, aren't you? No, 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 no. Eight two weeks. Months. Two months. Eight weeks. Okay. Yeah, two months. When did summer start getting short? Uh, I don't know. It's a mm. sore subject, Dan. No, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. no they, years ago, it's one of those where, like, you know, when we were younger, we didn't have a fall break. Nope. Yeah. Uh, you know, we didn't have all these little sprinkled in single days that were out for teacher playing and all that stuff. And now as the teacher, I'm on that side of it. I could appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but there's like what it, I keep waiting on the year. The f- in August, I'm, I'm going to be okay. But uh, yeah, it's, it's shorter and shorter. And then, of course, I, I book stuff in the summer. I, I'm going to a training day this and that and then one of the ball teams has asked me to drive for a day or two and so i'll take off on that so i still kind of keep all my little contacts up i don't just walk away but man it, it does it seems like it shrinks really fast so it does Anyhow. it does well look guys we appreciate you coming to join us every week uh we do what is called a friday feel good um i had to do it last week and how'd that go i, I, I felt like it was all right it was from the heart. It was it it was it was heartfelt. It was meaningful to me. Yeah. Um. So I I hope that that our viewers and listeners saw that and felt that as well. Um. It had to do with entrepreneurs and and not wanting not giving up because as you guys know, every day there's something. Trying to climb the Empire State Building, um and get that empire state building you climb over it's a, it, it's real easy to go you know what I'm, I'm hop on the elevator go back down and just forget this um <clears throat> it's real hard to it's hard to beat the guy that doesn't it is. Right? so um and i talked to a lot of entrepreneurs lately that are that have been on kind of that edge of you know am, am i just going got so well but, this uh, week's friday feel good is uh pick somebody up man uh just around seeing a lot of stuff here lately just as pool we have this inward desire that sometimes we don't even reserve but somebody and, and it doesn't have to be in a flashy way it doesn't have to be anything that is over the top as a matter of fact i would challenge you not to let it be flashy or over the top pick somebody up you know somebody's having a bad day you know they need a word of encouragement um you know if you know somebody buy somebody's lunch just do that little thing and and don't try to receive the credit for it. And I think too many times that's the challenge that we are faced with today's culture where everything comes back to getting recognized or the attention or whatever. Do it without being noticed. Just go pick somebody up. And so I challenge you to do that this week. And just uh, so today, today's Friday feel good is to to feel good by giving back. Uh, just pick somebody up. And, and I, I, I've been trying to incorporate that into – what I do weekly, uh, and and it has definitely made a difference just because I think if nothing else, you're more aware of what's going on around you, which we've talked about before, but um, pick somebody up this week. Y'all know what to do. Find somebody you know. Tell them you love them. That's I love it. it. I love it. Gentlemen, Dan, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us, kind of getting your story out there, telling us about 615 Day, car wash, and all the the. Is crazy clown day is that what it is yeah clown town in clown town, town. Yeah. <laughs> crazy clown town i love it i'm super excited um we will definitely be patrons of 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 both so um if you guys you already know what to do if you want to get involved please feel free to give me a call 
uh, email me, whatever it may be. You can call me at 615-307-0120. Send me an email at charlie at singletreebbq.com. And until next time, thank you so much from me, Derry, and the boys. We'll see you next week. Y'all be good. Thanks for having me. You too. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, leave us a five-star review and come see us at the restaurant.